LeBron James only visit to Cleveland this season. And after practi practicing at the Q on Thursday, LeBron surprised some by saying he would not rule out an eventual return to Cleveland, telling reporters, and I quote, I had a lot of fun times in my seven years here. You can't predict the future. Hopefully I continue to stay healthy. I'm here as a Miami Heat player, and I'm happy where I'm at now. But I don't rule that out in no sense. If I decided to come back, hopefully the fans will accept me. Then on Friday, LeBron issued a more Miami-friendly quote, telling reporters, and I quote, but it's all about this season for me, and it's all about playing with this Miami Heat team and trying to win an NBA championship. The fans of Miami shouldn't be worried about anything at this point, end quote. So now that that's resolved, let's head to the queue and see how LeBron and the Heat fared against the Cavaliers. The powder toss, and we're ready to go. Yeah, and the powder lands on top of Tony Fiorentino and Eric Reed, the two announcers there. They're okay with that. And, and, and the fans boo heavily. But they're okay with that right, though. They're Miami they Heat broadcast. They love it. LeBron James throwing it down. Off the oop from Wade. Cavs turn it over again. This time it's Chalmers to LeBron. Oh, uh, great looking plays. You know, Miami has it going. They're in sync. They know what they're doing. They sure do. LeBron had him up 25 to 5. Dwayne Wade has him up 29 to 8. Wade had 22 in the game. We go to the second quarter. Norris Cole, rookie out of Cleveland State, feeling it on this play. Norris Cole is playing for Team Shaq. I mean, I like Norris Cole, but not that much now. Okay. Okay. 10 points on 3 of 10 for Norris Cole. Ooh, nice. Kyrie Irving right at LeBron. Oh, that was a great move there. Youngsters learning what he can and cannot do in this early part of the season. Team Chuck, Kyrie. Dwayne Wade right there for three, and that's news. His first three of the season, he came into tonight 0 of 9 from distance. Miami was up 58-31. Here they're up by 22, <clears throat> I mean 24, on another slam by James. How about the hook right in the face of Antoine Jameson? And then LeBron, a little D on Kyrie Irving. Well, Kyrie's gonna lay it up. No, he's not. LeBron's waiting there to swat that one away. Bill, Kyrie should have come strong like that. He should have come strong there, but LeBron's got his game face on for his game. He will not be embarrassed. He's not going to lose to Cleveland anymore. He played an outstanding basketball game. And LeBron, on behalf of Mike and Bill and myself, I want you to know that we had nothing to do with that air ball making it in this highlight. No, he just gave the folks a little yep. something so they could get on yep. about. That's all. <laughs> LeBron and the Heat going to Cleveland, and they waylay the Cavs. 1-11. 87, a wire-to-wire -wire win for the Heat. They moved to 24 and 7. They finished their six-game road trip at 5 and 1. They're now a half game behind the Bulls for first place in the East. The Heat are rolling. They've won five straight overall. They're 3 and 0 against the Cavs this year. And LeBron James is now 6 and 1 against his former team, dating back to last year. Here is the King after the game with Jason Jackson. How big was it though, finishing this trip with a victory? Uh, very important. Uh, as well as we played those on that back to back to back, uh, we wanted to play just as as good as we did in those games uh, and finish off this trip on a high note. And uh, you know, it's definitely true uh, true professionalism from our team tonight, just coming in, doing what we needed to do, getting out to a great start, and just sustaining it throughout 48 minutes. You guys are obviously playing outstanding basketball right now, but Coach Spolster made it plain he doesn't want you all peaking right now. What 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 else is left here in the stratosphere? Yeah, he don't want us peaking right now. Uh, you know, uh, but we definitely don't want to take the foot off the gas. You know, we play some great basketball, uh, but we still got room for improvement, and we're going to continue to keep on fighting, continue to keep working our habits, and, uh, you know, just continue to play in Miami Heat basketball. Nothing will be like your first visit here. How was it tonight? Uh, it was great. I mean, it's always good coming back here. Best thing about it is, uh, you know, Miami Heat teammates, uh, they came in and held me down, uh, you know, and I just tried to do my job to help them win this game, and, uh, you know, that's what we did. My man, let's get out of here. I'm ready to get back to Miami. I heard that. How long has it been? Too long. 12 days. It felt like two months. <laughs> South Beach, Miami, Brickell, Biscayne, uh, Coconut Grove. Coconut Grove. <laughs> All y'all, we're on our way back, baby. Here we go. Pretty much covered the whole region right there. LeBron, welcome home. To Cleveland, that is, where he is now 2-1 and one in his career. 31 points. I should say his home state. He's not from Cleveland. He's from Akron. But anyway, when he returns to his home state, he gives the Cavaliers the business. 31, eight, and almost seven rebounds. The Cavs have beat them once, though. If you don't want to play Miami right now, the way they're playing with two days off to prepare, 
have some practices, and then come in against a team that just lost their best big man, Anderson Varejao, for about a month. He'll be out. Miami's too tough. Way too tough for the Cavaliers on this night.